Let's start off tonight's sports with some volleyball. It was some great actions with the UP. They were battling out Duke and it was a good one. And it's always a great one when it's a rivalry battle. This rivalry dates all the way back, farther than my dad's hairline. Esky and then Marquette. First set, no score yet. Marquette trying to get it over the net, but it's going to be blocked by Nicole Kamen. They're going to try again, but Kamen stopped being at it. She got the point for Esky. Very next sequence, Esky working the ball around, and then Kamen. She's going to come in from the left side to deliver that heat for another Esky point. Eskinaba dominated most of the first set, but then... It's going to be like a Thanksgiving souffle. The Red Hat started to rise up from the bottom as Silo Ruska with the hit that got Marquette some points. Later on, Marquette down a point, and it's going to be in their possession with the ball after Eski gets it over the net. A quick pass, and then another hit by Marquette, tying the game up at 17. Moving along, it scores 22-17 Red Hats. Eski trying to stay in the game, and their superstar, Nicole Kamen, is helping with that as she got the point. Red Hats leading now 23-18, and they're trying to complete the comeback. Maria Mulatto, well, I don't think she likes me because this shot almost took me out. I'm just trying to do my job. Great match like always, but Red Hats won the night. Three games to one. Now let's move way further. We got Barker Harris hosting our model towners of Gwen. In the first half, Broncos down two. But it won't be for long as BAM! The Flames from the Broncos with that one is Bark River. It's the point. Later in the set, and we're tied up at 14. Broncos trying to get the upper hand. Model Tyners, why are not giving it up so easily? Jordana Hardy with the hit. Bark River couldn't recover. Gwen gets the point. You're gonna be late first set. Broncos lead now 24 22, needing just one point to win. But Hardy. Well, she came the party, folks. She gets the point for Gwen. And we're a few of those later, and match is now 26 apiece, basically in overtime in this way. Each side is scrambling to keep the ball in play. And Broncos, well, they're trying to take advantage of that as Karzawaki with the hit that stays in bounds and gets them the point. It was a battle to the very end tonight as Gwen survives on the road, winning three games to two in the final.